welcome back to video number two well uh from the video number one if you remember the difficulties i had i was starting my photography but uh right now okay i decided that okay the only way to go about this is to be a bit more you know change your style b-roll <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, I remain Babs. Thank you all for subscribing and watching my video that I posted last week. And today I'm here to update you on what has been happening so far in my photography journey. Okay, after the last time I tried to take some pictures, um, you know, as I told you, it didn't really go well with the last clients and um, you know, even though she accepted the picture, she, she accepted the pictures, and then she was like, "Okay, she's cool with it. They're nice and all that." But I know that they were not really that nice, and I knew I failed in that aspect. But I felt it was a reason for me to um, to sit up and get my act together, get my stuff together. You know, go back to the drawing board again, sketch out how I go about it, identify the problems, and hit them real hard, and ensure that yes, there are no more problems. And probably I'll face the next challenge going ahead. So what now happened is I decided to um, look for a model, someone, not really a professional model, but someone that could at least uh, be willing to be in front of the camera and then let me practice as well. She gets the pictures and I get to post them and she gets the likes and the followers and all that. And then I contacted my friend, Mrs. Omale. Yeah, the pregnant woman, you remember. Yeah, so I contacted her and I told her, well, I need a model she's like yeah she has someone that works for her works with her and the girl will be willing to do it that's after she has spoken to her <laughs> well okay yes then she hooked me up with her and I contacted her we discussed over the phone we chatted we spoke about all our ambition what she wants to gain from this what I want to gain from this and then eventually we you know we agreed that we actually both needed this opportunity so we set a date a time and then I came home after work set up everything and invited a call her okay I'm ready for you and then uh, like do you want her to come all the way over there to your place with all this makeup and looking all good boys will stop her on the road like well I don't know what to do about that but uh, I was able to get someone to uh, bring her over. Then she came, she was looking all made up, she looked good. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be the beginning. I tried to make her comfortable, I played music, I even asked her to hook her, her, her Bluetooth up to my speaker so that, you know, she'll feel more comfortable listening to her own kind of songs, not my kind of bleh, songs that only me listen to. So eventually what now happened was, we started taking pictures, I started getting used to it, I started getting the hang of it. We took a lot of pictures, we took uh, plenty of pictures, you know me. But now I'm still taking all the pictures, even though, yeah, I learned that you want to always try to make um, it short count. But well, for now, I don't care. I'll take as much as I can. And uh, each one that makes sense, that actually, yeah, clicks. And I'm like, okay, this one, what did I do here? I'm trying to identify the things I did right here. So we took a lot of beautiful pictures and then... Uh, I had some few challenges. My background wasn't a full background, it was half. So when you want to take a full portrait, we move backwards and then she goes out of the background. I'm like, ah, oh, goodness God, why did I buy this half? Lesson for other people, don't make my mistake. Buy the full one. It might be a bit more expensive, but get it if you want to take a full portrait photography, like from her head to, from whosever head it is to the toes. So yeah, that is one thing you need to be sure that you get done so um eventually we'll have to stick to um you know shoulders to the head and then 
while we're taking it, I now said, wait, let's try something. Your veil, where is it? Get it, if you brought it. Okay, why not let's try it, wrapping it over your head and take a real close-up shot because the veil goes well with the colors and everything. It was kind of brownish. And then we took a couple of pictures like, this will work. And then we took some more and it, it really turned out really beautifully. And I'm like, okay, why not we go ninja? Hiya! <laughs> and then, yeah, we went over her head left her eyes and then went over her nose and wow it was it was amazing the picture was awesome i loved it everybody loved it she loved it initially when when i took the picture like okay what <laughs> the challenge i had was when, you, when i check through the viewfinder i have this amazing composition and then when i check through the lcd screen I'm like no that's crap and i look again like but this is amazing and I look out again like it's crap I was like, okay, I think the only um, judge that will settle this case, we have to go to the computer or my or plug it up to my TV and then look at it very well. And then eventually we did that and they were really beautiful pictures. Like it was so cool, like from the words of Carl Taylor, that like, if you take a very good picture, um, you do the composition right, you get it right, you do less in post-production. And that was what really happened. I did very minimal in post-production yes one of the pictures the first ones i took that really were nice because the light was from 45 degrees from one side and then i had a speed light a bit behind that was the setup um that was that's what i have in particular so there's really nothing i can do about it but the speed light wasn't firing as often as i would want it to the recycle time was really slow so i got um a reflector i held it with one hand and i was like i have to get the shot and i kept you know, trying to get it right so eventually, and I started getting the ones that had the highlights, a little highlight on the other side of the face. Because when the, um, the light was on one side, I was hoping it's, it would wrap around a little. It may give me like a, you know, a little <laughs> triangle, a Rembrandt idea. But it didn't work out that way. So I had to bring in a little reflector. So it did that. So in the post-production, I just tried to increase the highlights of that area. But uh, generally, the picture was awesome. And uh, I'm happy I got someone like that who was actually interested in taking pictures as well. Or rather getting her pictures taken. And yeah, it was a good one. She's also an upcoming model. Uh, she's a makeup artist. Uh, she's a tailor. You know, she's just everything. Bubunishi, as Nigerians would say, is Bubunishi. Uh, she's an awesome person. I'll leave her handle in the description below so you guys can follow her. And, you know, you know, encourage her some more so probably to try to up her modeling game and to encourage me to up my own photography game and there is a project i'm having coming soon and i hope um i'm able to name it as much as i can we were supposed to have it some days back but unfortunately it rained it rained heavily like really heavily it couldn't show up i couldn't move as well and it was supposed to be an outdoor shoot i had this imagination in my head even though I, i'm supposed to have like a mood board or something to like sketch it out and all that but no i, ha I had it all in my head but unfortunately we weren't able to bring it out so what i'll advise is um from my journey for anybody who wants to go into photography i feel don't be scared of making mistakes go out there try it out keep trying keep trying i am still trying i've not gotten anywhere yet but i'm still trying but i know i've made some gradual progress and i'm really happy with that and i'll keep learning and i'll keep practicing and i really want to see the best out of me come out in my pictures so from babs i say one more time peace out